China rounded off its birthday party celebrations on October 1st with a fireworks display and gala. The 33-minute display to celebrate China's 60th anniversary started with 60 birthday candle-shaped fireworks exploding in the air. Ding Zhengquan, the pyrotechnician in charge of the display, said that 42,000 shells were used, more than double the number for the Beijing Olympics opening ceremony. China is continuing its search for new oil markets and has become the latest company to approach Uganda to enter talks about an oil project there. The Wall Street Journal says China is interested in expanding in Africa through partnerships with emerging African oil producers. This news follows the confirmation that CNOC had sought to enter Nigeria working with underused oil blocks in the country. Construction is expected to start next week on China's first privately funded railway. The 40-mile-long track in Shanxi province in the north of China will connect Jiafeng and Jincheng and have three stops on the route. It's expected to cost $340 million and will be co-funded by the Broad Union Investment Management Group, the Yufeng Railway Construction Investment Company and the Zhengzhou Railway Bureau. Chinese-Indian relations risk deterioration after new moves by China to issue separate visas for people from Kashmir. The move has been condemned by a representative of India's Congress party in Kashmir. Around 100 people have been affected by the new procedures in which visas are issued on loose sheets of paper. China has not given an official explanation for the move, but according to the BBC, it's because many in Srinagar say Beijing considers Kashmir to be disputed territory. Those are your headlines. Back to the show.